Hey everybody, this is Drew, AG on the AT. Uh, welcome to my gear video for my Appalachian Trail through hike uh, to be leaving in March 2018. Before we get, get started, I just want to introduce you to our trip mascot. This is Fenway, our Bernese Mountain Dog, who is just a cute and adorable puppy. And as you can see, she's ready to get started. Good girl. Good girl, Fenway. Okay, for, I, I wanted to go through a quick list of folks that were uh, a great inspiration to me. And uh, I wanted to give a, a thanks to those, to those folks as well. And um, some of the gear that you'll see uh, came to me uh, by recommendation from these folks. So the first person I wanted to thank is Craig M, a.k.a. Spielberg. He was a through hiker a couple years ago. He, he, he summited. Hey, awesome job, Craig. Great job. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Early Riser, who uh, was through hiker last year, also summited. And we watched all of his videos and gleaned uh, a lot of information from him. Awesome job. Give a shout out to Justin and Wella. They hiked with uh, Warrior Expeditions. And uh, they uh, just summited not too long ago. And um, it was great to talk to them v via YouTube. So let's get started. We'll come right over here. These are some resources that I've used over the past uh, two to three years. Uh, as this has been a, a lifelong goal of mine. And uh, I'm finally getting to do it. And I can't tell you how excited I am. These are some books that I've used. Uh, this is the AT Guide. Uh, it's written and put together by David A. Wall Miller. This is a must-have for any through hiker. They come out with it. They come out with it every year. Lost on the Appalachian Trail. Great book. Good read. Fun. Fun read. Dave Dan Wingfoot Bruce's Through Hiker's Handbook. It is filled with all kinds of helpful in information. The AT Data Book um, has a lot of mileage information. Uh, David Awal Miller's book, Awal on the Appalachian Trail. This is an awesome read. It was a lot of fun and has a lot of uh, helpful uh, information. Uh, Painted Blazes by Loner, uh, filled with all kinds of anecdotal tidbits about the trail and what it means to be a through hiker. And it, it's a great uh, book about a great adventure. Uh, Bill Bryson's book, A Walk in the Woods. This is a highly entertaining extremely funny and I, I, I loved loved reading it the movie was was just as good it was it was awesome um, this other DVD uh, called Trek about a group of uh, young men who were through hikers in summited it's also uh, fun to watch that as well and these are just a handful of the resources that I used to help plan my trip so we'll begin with the uh, the big three. This is the Hilleberg Anion 2 backpacking tent. This is very, very lightweight, very easy to set up. And I, I, I've used it a number of times and uh, in very cold weather and in very high winds. And it held up perfectly. And I, I highly recommend it. Hilleberg Anion 2. Osprey Atmos AG 65 liter backpack has a, a rain cover that goes with the backpack. Comes in a little stuff sack like this. And when you buy it, it comes in a box. Osprey Ultralight Rain Cover. It's made to go, to go with it. I'm also going to be purchasing the liner that goes inside the backpack to, to keep everything dry and safe. A backpacking towel for obvious reasons. Um, at the bottom of the backpack, I have a Thermarest. Uh, ZC. Uh, this is a great uh, foam or closed cell foam pad that you can sit on on the ground um, and it'll keep your backside uh, dry and clean. Um, and, and it's actually pretty comfortable. Uh, Thermarest ZC. This is the Thermarest HD and Terry's uh, 20 degree down. Mummy style sleeping bag. 
The rating on the bag is set at 20 degrees, but I wanted something a little bit lower. So I purchased a microfiber sleeping bag liner from Mountain Warehouse. This is the liner right here. Comes in a little bag like this. Okay, your mountain, mountain Warehouse microfiber sleeping bag liner. Goes right inside the sleeping bag and drops that rating down another five to eight degrees. I also bought the Sea to Summit Premium Eros Hiker Pillow. Uh, when you purchase it, it comes in a um, thing like this with the little stuff sack attached. This is the pillow right here. I blew it up so you can see what it looks like. Sea to Summit Premium Eros Pillow. Has your two-way valve right here. So when you're blowing it up, the air doesn't blow back out at you. Um, so that's where you, where you blow it up. Very, very simple to pull up. Um, I put the money into this system because I really believe it's going to be critical to get a good night's sleep and a good recovered sleep. And I think that's going to make all the difference on my through hike. I'm going to put the entire sleep system in a, a 13 liter Seed a summit bag. They look like this. This one again is 13 liters. See the summit dry sack. Inside this dry sack will go the sleeping bag, the liner, the pillow, a ground cloth will fit as well, and my final sleep system product, uh, Thermarest Neo Air X Light Air Mattress. Okay, this is the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite Air Mattress. Has the valve right here at the top. Takes about 35 to 36 blows from your mouth to pump it up. It comes in a box like this when you purchase it. Neo Air X Lite. And this air mattress is very important to have because it has a high insulating R value, which keeps all the warmth reflected back into your body and you know it keeps you off the ground which is very very cold so new air x light air mattress made by thermarest these are my trekking poles right here these are made by black diamond these are called black diamond trail pro trekking poles they, they come with a simple flick lock system and you flick these red locks, they come right out, and you can adjust the pole to the appropriate measurement that you need it. Also on the pole has your snow basket and what I like, these interchangeable carbide tips. So you can interchange the tips for whatever terrain that you're on. But then for now, I will be using these carbide tips, but they are interchangeable. And when you buy the poles, they come in a little box like this. Black Diamond Trail Pro Trekking. Okay. Also with the air mattress, it comes with one of these uh, very simple uh, field repair kits. Because you, you really don't want to get a hole or a puncture. But if you were to, you can use this simple system to repair it quickly. Alright, you're all probably wondering, like, well, what's Drew going to wear on the trail? Well, I'm going to show you, and I'm going to tell you. We'll start from, from, the, from the bottom up. These are PhD medium smart wool crew socks. Okay. These are great socks to have. They keep my feet warm. I don't slip in them. I don't have any, any friction. And most importantly, I've never had a blister. So PhD, smart wool, medium crew. These are Tommy Copper calf compression sleeves. These will keep the blood flowing and keep the circulation going throughout your legs while you're hiking. Calf compression sleeves, Tommy Copper. These are dual action Chopat knee braces okay I say dual action because they do make a single but the dual is is what is what I wanted so I, I wear I will be wearing one on each knee 
Okay, toe pat dual action knee braces. Keep your knees strong and healthy for the trip. I'm, I'm choosing to wear boots instead of trail hikers because I'm, I'm, I'm very concerned about my feet and that is probably the most important part of your body that you're gonna need to get you through. So I'm going to be wearing the L.L. Bean uh, Gore-Tex Cresta Hiker Backpacking Boots. They're the Vibram Sole, full leather and Gore-Tex. Um, it's gonna be important to carry a set of extra laces because laces will snap and they will break and you're gonna want an extra pair. So L.L. Bean Gore-Tex Cresta Hikers. To go over the boots, I'm going, to, I'm going to be wearing the Outdoor Research Rocky Mountain Low Gators. Outdoor Research Rocky Mountain Low Gator. These will keep all the water and dirt and sand um, from going inside your boots while hiking. This is the uh, Ex Officio Give and Go Sport Mesh Brief. I don't think I need too much of an explanation. I have tried try these out. They are very comfortable. Um, there is no friction and they go uh, very well with the uh, base layer. Which is the base layer. This is the Polar Tech Power Dry uh, Midweight um, that I got from L.L. Bean. These are obviously the bottoms. Okay, I do have the matching top which is long sleeve and it has a quarter zip on the top to let the heat out. And it has a kind of a uh, small turtleneck as well. So I do have the matching top that goes with the, with the bottoms. These, these are Prana Stretch Zion Convertible Trekking Pants. Okay, these are very, very lightweight. They're very comfortable. Uh, they're, very, they're very functional because if you get too hot or in the warmer months, you can unzip the lower half of the leg with a zipper and take them off. Prana Stretch Zion Convertible. When things are really warm and really hot, I'm going to be wearing the L.L. Bean Nylon Sport Suplex Shorts. I have several pairs of these and they'll, they'll be shipped to me. I'll be wearing these over the base layer. I have a, a very important product that everyone will, will need. This is a merino wool buff. Uh, Early Riser talked a lot about this. So I have this one for the colder months, full merino wool. And I have a lighter weight uh, REI uh, AT buff right here for, for when things get uh, warmer. I have a Polar Tech Power Dry beanie uh, made by Montaigne. Uh, you will see me wearing, wearing this quite often. Uh, very comfortable and uh, it has great breathability. This is a pair of Red Ledge Thunder Light rain pants um, that I'll be wearing when the weather is really, really bad, really rainy, really wet. Okay, Red Ledge Thunder Light. I know some hikers go with the rain kilt. Um, I don't know, I just don't see myself wearing that, so I'm going to try, try the pants first. These are the L.L. Bean Polar Tech Power Dry Base Layers. Um, like I said before, I have a mid-weight set for the colder months, and I have a lightweight set for the warmer months, just with the idea of for, for bug protection and just protection for my body and to keep my body at a stable temperature. So a mid-weight set and a light set. And for the top, I have the L.L. Bean Marina Wool Cresta Hiker Backpacking Shirt Long Sleeve. This is an awesome shirt. I've used it. Keeps me totally dry and totally warm. And if I sweat, the sweat just evaporates through the shirt. In warmer months, I'm going to use a, a Under Armour, a high-performance shirt. A God Country Notre Dame. Go Irish! Love it. This is uh, probably the greatest rain jacket I've ever worn. This is the L.L. Bean Gore-Tex Stowaway Rain Jacket. Um, 
This will be worn when the weather is extremely wet and extremely rainy. You can wear it also to, to keep warm. Um, it's, a, it's a very, very nice jacket. Um, it may cost a little, but you know, it, it will be totally worth it. This is my uh, winter parka. This is the North Face Form Fusion Dot Matrix uh, parka. It has a liner in it. It has armpit zips that you can open and close to release the heat when you get too hot. And it has these nice uh, Velcro cuffs that you can adjust. And the deep hood with, with the visor that, that I like a lot as well. All right, so on to the rest of the gear. This is a pair of camp Crocs that I'll be using as my camp shoes and to uh, ford uh, the different rivers with. These are very, very comfortable. And it's also very important to dry your feet out when you get into camp. And um, so this is what I'm going to use to do that. You know, remove my boots and put the Crocs on. This is um, Naturopal Insect Repellent. Comes hot, highly recommended. Got a bottle of this. It works great. I'm going to have it shipped to me in the warmer months when the bugs are bad. A Outdoor Research Deluxe Spring Ring Head Net. Early riser recommendation. Works great. Again, it'll be shipped to me in the warmer months. Keeps the bugs away from your face. These are insoles made by Pedag. And this is uh, an insole made for, um, for metatarsal support. And I really need that. Um, in my left foot, um, I'm having a couple issues there. So this was a Craig M, a.k.a. Spielberg recommendation. Works excellent. Pedag insole. Uh, for my water system, I'm going to be using the Sawyer Squeeze. This is the regular size Sawyer Squeeze right here. And it, it has three bags that it comes with, three Mylar bags. This is the smaller one. You fill it with water. You screw it onto the filter. You then roll it and squeeze it. And this will connect to a bottle. I'm going to be using a smart water bottle. I'm just using this as an example. And you can squeeze the water right into the bottle, right from the Sawyer squeeze. These are the two larger bags it comes with right here. Um, I'm going to be leaving these at home, but just in case I need them, it does come with them. These are a set of different adapters that come with the Sawyer Squeeze. They, they have different purposes and different functions. It comes with, with a piece of tubing that you can use. You can actually make a nice gravity feed system with this as well. And that works great. Um, in my backpack for water on demand, I'm going to be using the uh, Osprey uh, Hydraulics LT bag. This goes right inside the backpack so it's inside the bag and the tube comes over your shoulder like this and connects onto your chest with a, with a magnet it connects to the backpack strap and so this way you have water on demand and it has a, a little bite piece right here that you bite down on to get the water hence the extra uh, osprey bite valve piece because i've heard that this piece gets chewed up and then it starts to leak so an extra bite valve. This is the Sawyer Squeeze uh, back flush injector. Um, I know this is kind of big and cumbersome and may be kind of a pain, but um, it'd be important to clean the filter, but I might have it shipped to me. But it does come with it, so if you buy it, it comes with this. You actually use it to back flush the Sawyer Squeeze to, to clean it out. This is, is an amazing piece of technology. This is uh, a product called Life Straw uh, by Vestergaard. Um, this is a highly specialized water filter um, that I'm going to be bringing along. I haven't opened it yet, but this is a water filter. It is the size of a pencil. and You actually put one end of it in your mouth, and then you put the other end in your water source, and you suck up the water right through the life straw and it comes totally clean into your mouth so this is 
amazing advanced technology. Y'all really need to check it out. Life straw. All right, moving right along. These are uh, a set of odor-proof storage bags. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to take these or not, but they can be handy just to if you have like trash that's really smelly and you want to you know, pack it up. And that way, it won't stink. I have a another Sea to Summit lightweight dry sack. This is a two-liter bag. That I'm going to be using to hold all my electronics and technology to ensure that it does stay dry at all times. My Black Diamond Revolt headlamp. This runs on rechargeable batteries and has a um, USB port and a USB cord that is used to, to charge it. And you plug in the USB cord on the, on the side. It does have a locking mechanism, so it will not turn on while it's in your backpack while you're hiking. It has a high-intensity LED with a dimmer, and it has two other high-intensity LEDs, one on each side. And it has a nice wide head strap. Very, very comfortable. Very, very bright. A much-needed thing. We all know what this product is. This is the Deuce of Spades by Tent Lab. Um, obviously, this is used to dig a cat hole in case you need to use the bathroom and one is not available. Okay, so it's a nice little lightweight titanium trowel. This is a, um, a fire steel, like a magnesium striker for emergency purposes and to start a fire. This is my uh, purple titanium spork that I'll be using to eat with. This is a striker that's used to start your backpacking stove or to light your stove. I'll be carrying a uh, basic Bic lighter uh, as a backup just in case. Uh, a compass, which I, I really believe is totally critical on any trip. So I'll be carrying the compass. The tick key for uh, ticks in case they get embedded. I, I understand that ticks are a real problem on the trail. This is just some emergency power cord. Uh, I have my emergency whistle attached. Uh, a, a little temperature and compass gauge. My, my little Gerber knife for cutting line or boot laces. Um, a couple items to try out to open up the bear cancer as it has some screws. Chapstick. I have some uh, plastic bags here that I may or may not use, but these are very sturdy, heavy duty, and have a zip lock on the top, and keep can keep things dry when you need them to be dry. Some hand warmers I was, I was going to try out. I've seen people use these. The technology I'm going to be using is the Samsung S8 Plus Galaxy Android phone. It comes in a box like this. I just bought it. It is awesome. Uh, the phone is in a life-proof box to keep it uh, clean and safe and free from moisture. Life-proof box. I had to buy a micro SD card, a 64 megabyte, to bring up the phone's memory to 128 gigs. The power brick charger for the phone looks like that. So that will keep the phone charged. This is a... Uh, stick pick and you can get it from stickpick.com uh, we talked to a fellow named Rod um, he was extremely helpful big shout out to Rod um, if you need a stick pick that you want to connect to your trekking pole it connects through this hole call up Rod at stick pick he'll definitely take care of you um, he was great on the phone he was very helpful so stickpick.com used to hold your phone this is a massage roller um, that came recommended to me by Early Riser. You use it to uh, massage your legs and to uh, remove any knots in your muscles from a long day of hiking. An acupressure ball for the bottom of your feet to relax your feet at the end of a long day. These are great items to have. Um, this is a product called Body Glide. This is an anti-friction product that, that you use. Um, I have used it. It is an absolute must Got to have it. Body Glide. This is the uh, Lighter One Little Sammy Bear Canister that I just purchased. 
I was going to purchase, you know, I had the beer food bag system, but uh, a lot of parks rules and regulations are changing and um, some of the trails regulations are changing and they're now requiring in some areas a beer canister. So lighter one, little Sammy. This is the cook system. This is the GSI uh, Pinnacle Soloist. Comes in a box like this when you purchase it. So you have, you have your pot. In the pot, you have your isobutane gas. You can drop it down in there to keep it safe. Comes with a cup. I'm not sure if, I, if I'm going to carry it or not, but the cup goes right in there like, whoop, right in there like that. You take your lid, slap your lid on there. And, uh, well, the handle does go up. I guess I'm not in a little trouble here. But the handle does go up. It snaps onto the lid of the uh, pot. I'm not quite sure why it's giving me trouble, but... Oh, there it is. Oh, nice and tight, nice and compact. GSI Pinnacle Soloist. This is the Micro Rocket Backpacking Stove. And this screws on to the top of your isobutane canister and comes in this little uh, box right here it comes in a box that looks like this and a piece of sham wow for any condensation and that's about it this is all my gear for my AT through hike uh, leaving March 2018 hey thanks a lot for tuning in thanks a lot for listening to me I look forward to all of you subscribing to my channel Another gear video is going to follow this one. Hey, listen, thank you very much. I look forward to seeing all of you out there. AG on the AT. Whoop, whoop.